Hello folks, uh, in this session we are going to cover another scenario of uh, creating a basic uh, multi-threaded application. So in the first one we created a basic one which uh, basically was extending thread, right? Uh, so what if you are already extending another class, right? And uh, you can only extend one class, right? So, and you want to also, you know, make that uh, multi-threaded, so you really cannot use extends. So, what do you do, okay? So, we're going to look at that scenario, we'll create a quick application. We're going to basically clone this guy and uh, uh, see how to do it, right? So, I'm going to call it, um, I say, Runnable thread. Okay, so the thing to do is you can either extend the thread or you can implement uh, runnable. Okay, so we're going to implement runnable in this case. Okay, now if you do uh, the runnable, uh, one of the things is you need to really um, instantiate a thread and which will in turn be of type uh, runnable, okay. So, I am going to say here new thread of this type, okay. This will become thread okay. This also should be I think thread okay. Again this dot current thread. Okay, so let's see what happens. Job application. Cool. So, there you go, it works and um, so there is another implementation, uh, the basic thread we saw we were using, we are extending thread, but for some reason if you cannot extend thread, the other way to do is, is implementing runnable, of course you can implement any number of interfaces you want, so you really are able to do it. It is a little quirky where you basically have to instantiate using a new thread inside the, the new uh, your, uh, you know, your class and, um, you know, when you refer to some properties like get name, sleep, etc., you got to qualify them with thread, okay. So, again, uh, another implementation and it is, uh, as we can see, it is quite straightforward, okay. So, I am going to stop the video here and uh, next session we will uh, do some more advanced topics. Uh, thanks for watching.